What's up, people? Welcome to episode 16 of Game 7. Uh, Michael's in the background. As y'all come on, make sure y'all like and share the video. I'm going to play the intro so we can get started. Got a lot to get into tonight. What's going on? What's up? I'll play you. What? One game, one-on-one. For what? The best two words in sports. Game seven. Your heart. Now people to have a check field. It's over. The Houston Rockets have won game seven. Kobe's down the middle. He's in deep. Throws to Shaq. Strong dunk. Oh, blocked by James. LeBron James with the rejection. By Steph Curry. Six to shoot. He's at the right point. He stutter steps. He launches a three. He nailed it. Defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Baby, where we gonna live at, son? Central Park West somewhere? What you gonna buy your mom, son? How Come on. A big house. It's the will of the man. It ain't the skill of the man. Don't be afraid of nobody. Take it. Take yeah, go it. strong, baby. Like nobody's yes. better than you. Let's go. Let's go, G. Steady, are you ready? It's down to one game. Just one game now. Game seven. Next. What's up, people? As y'all come on, make sure y'all like and share the video. Um, I was in a good mood, and then you extra loud, tonight, man. I'm extra loud. Yeah. Uh, I got a new microphone, man. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mom told me you, you had something, something over there. I got she a new microphone. Even, she was like, "Feel this shit. Don't even feel like nothing in it." <laughs> it don't. Yeah, I got a new microphone. Man. Um, right. I wasn't. I was in a good mood tonight, and then somebody popped up on my screen with this green shit. Like <laughs> it's not football Sunday. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't understand what's happening right here. Everybody got him riled up. Everybody got him riled up. <laughs> I, I don't understand why like why i gotta be tortured with this nonsense <laughs> he's refusing to start the show man because i had my hoodie on because it's, it's nonsense man. <laughs> this is a nonsense man each don't encourage the nonsense all right don't come over here and encourage right. the nonsense, man um what's up angelia uh, I seen that Tara was here earlier, but she said tonight's her birthday. So happy birthday to Tara! Happy birthday! She's in uh Brooklyn showing out. Um, all the Eagles fans are in the chat. I can't do. <laughs> What's up, Tuz? Yeah, it's it's a lot of nonsense going on. Um, so we can get into the icebreaker real quick, and you know. I'm going to show this video. This is my favorite player. You know, y'all might not know, but Damian Lillard is my favorite player. You won't hear me talk about him a lot on this show, only because his team sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just let his greatness be what it is. But last night he was showing out as usual. And unlike Michael, when my players, you know, do do something, it's, it's you know, it's a regular, so I don't really get excited. But that's because that's because if you guys see my name at the bottom, <laughs> what about I'm it? I'm a fan. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. You act like this shit is normal. It's it's normal. My with the stuff that my guys do is normal, man. Come on, man. It's a, it's surprising when you know somebody a like 40 me. 50 point game is a, a great get, game. Man. Busy B get like 25 points, and they be like Tyrese is. The greatest. We love you, Maxie. We love Max you. <laughs> Maxie be getting 30. Don't don't come on. Don't sell him short. We love you, busy. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna play the video for the people, man. And Max then, is the bull. I'm gonna see if you can explain to the people what happens in this video, man. Are you ready? Yeah. There it is, man. to be conditioned physically and mentally to, to face these types of challenges and you got to have true confidence 
Um, and you got to trust your work, you know, even when it's tough out there. And, I, you know, that's all I count on. That's all I lean on. And on top of that, you got you to gotta be a competitor. You got to compete and embrace those challenges. Um, and that's what I did. And uh, uh, it was whatever, uh, it was, whatever was, was necessary to get the win. What happened there? So, you know, I guess Dame hit the three. They probably called the flagrant. Right. He shot the free throw. They got the ball back. He hit another three. So that is known as a seven-point play, ladies and gentlemen. This is not uh, something that you see every day. You don't see that. You don't see that too often. All right. That's a seven-point play from my guy, you know, my favorite. But I don't think that should be a flagrant, man. I don't think it should be a flagrant either, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. I mean, sometimes you can't help yourself. Like, you closing out on somebody. It's not like you trying to hurt the person. So Everything shouldn't be a flagging as far as that. So did you see Dame's stat line? Yeah, he had a great game. Dame is being Dame, everybody. That's what Dame does. me to tell you. That's what Dame does, man. Shout out to Dame Dollar. That's my guy. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to introduce y'all. That's Damian Lillard from the Portland Trailblazers. That's my guy. All right, Michael, you, your man is up next. He's doing a lot of flopping, flipping, crying. Flopping, um, man. Dancing. Hey. First of all, I don't think Bron should have been out there falling on the ground. On all this. <laughs> but come on, man. Like, get the boys fucking calls, man. The boy go to the hole. Y'all talk trash about him not trying to go to the hole at the end of the game because he don't want to shoot free throws. He go to the hole. He clearly gets fouled, no call. Um, and then Russ was right there, two of them. Is this this also is a case? I'm not gonna say that he didn't get fouled. I will agree that it was a. You foul. can't say he didn't get fouled. I could say that he he I mean, made clear he smacked his arm as he was driving for a layup. He got past the ball. He would have scored. All right. All right, let me play the video for the people. And then play it. <laughs> if there's a foul going on or is LeBron just dancing, but I'll play the video. <laughs> Gets in the paint, layup, missed it. When the game is over, Lakers fury is going to get fouled. A Jimmy Chip, and it's now overtime. You heard it from Jeff Van Gundy, man. Shout out to Jeff Van Gundy, man. Jeff Van Gundy is my guy. Um, first off, where did Patrick Beverly get that camera? From? Get the camera from. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he take that from somebody at courtside? Or is that his own personal camera? <laughs> I don't know. He came right out there with the camera, like, yo. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got somebody in the chat saying, did he even touch him? <laughs> Shout out to you, Angelia. Because Are you serious? He found him, but it was like, he, he, he barely tapped He his went arm. to the hole for a layup. The boy smacked his arm like, down. Hey, come on. He had like, a left hand layup. He smacked his arm down. You can clear as day. Have did we he not, touch him? Have we not seen LeBron? get hit harder than that and carry somebody it was a layup t he got past the ball he had a right. layup for the game winner the boy smacked his arm down 
there is a famous line in that says, you know, you gotta dunk that shit. <laughs> but you know why Brian and I'm so upset? Why is Brian and I'm so upset? Because it was like four out of five games where like they had got fouled at the end of the game that could have tied it or put them up and they didn't get the call. And I think it was one game you sent me some tape on with your man Russell Westbrook when Embiid grabbed Westbrook's arm and they didn't call the foul. Yeah, no, they're definitely not going to call a foul for Russell Westbrook. Well, they knew he'd have missed anyway. <laughs> well, we know LeBron would have missed. <laughs> no, Brown would have hit that, man. Brown was balling that night. He had like 40-something. All right, so the main thing is that LeBron is not getting calls anymore because he's old and nobody cares about him anymore. LeBron ain't never get calls, man. LeBron used to get calls all the time. No, he didn't. He's no, he didn't. Years That's years why LeBron started flopping was because he didn't get the calls. Okay, can we address LeBron dancing around the court? <laughs> nah, he, was, he was acting a fool. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have been doing that. He was dumb. <laughs> He, he should have went over to the ref and got the tech. It was ridiculous, man. Brian got to start demanding his respect, man. All right, so this is what I wanted to ask you. So in the aftermath of that call, the refs, they came out and said the refs or whoever, they made a statement saying that the refs blew the call or whatever. They missed the call. Right. But after the game, who cares? <laughs> like, what does that matter? Like, is that, what, the, what is that going to change? What is... What is the purpose in doing that? You mean why did they come out and say that? Right. Well, you know they do that uh, last two minutes, John, when they miss calls and stuff like that. Right, but I'm saying, what do you think that they can do, you know, to correct that? So, you know. It, well, first that, of all. It changed the outcome of the game, right? Yes. Right. Because it was tied. They wouldn't have won in overtime. Right. So now instead of them missing that call, you know, they said they can't review it because it was a no call. I don't know, man, but I heard about this stat with this one ref. Every time he refers the Boston Celtics game, the Celtics are like thirty-four and two or some shit. That's ridiculous. Now, now we got another ref on on the on the pay on the payroll. I don't know. I don't know. It might be another ref on the payroll, everybody. But I will say that um, I think that even if it's a no call, that should be reviewable. I think that should be reviewable too. Yeah. Uh Jennifer, nobody cares Cause... about Michael's hoodie. <laughs> and I'm disgusted that he has this shit on right now. <laughs> I'm disgusted that he has this shit on right now. I hope y'all win this game, man. <laughs> y'all got a lot right on this, man. I wore this gonna... for you and Nell, man. Nell's in the chat. I see you. What's up, Nell? Uh no. Let Mike know while we right here. Right, I'm not coming to the hospital to see you. Nell, Nell gonna probably wear one of these hoodies next week, man. He's gonna be Eagles fan. Yo, I'm week. not coming to the hospital to see you, dog. <laughs> For what? I'm be celebrating. <laughs> if you have a heart attack, if y'all lose next week, man. What's up, Rhonda? <laughs> I must run go downtown, man. Be acting a fool with everybody else. I can't. You going to the parade? Are you going to the parade? I'm going to the parade this year. I ain't go last year, but I'm going this, is what, this year. This is, this is what I wanted to tell people yesterday because they had missed this yesterday. Yesterday on uh, Teller Made Cakes, I told the people that I heard that Valentine's Day was canceled if the Eagles win the Super Bowl. And the reason why I was telling y'all that is because if they win the Super Bowl, the parade might be on Tuesday. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So. Ladies, I'm trying to help Sorry, y'all. ladies. Sorry, <laughs> See? Sorry. See? It's going to be I'm... an all-day celebration. <laughs> See? I'm trying to help y'all out. Man. So Valentine's Day might be canceled, ladies. Sorry. They don't have Sorry. to go down and celebrate, too. Nah, kid. They don't want to celebrate. They want to go out to dinner and shit. They want their gifts. They want to be wine and dine. Man. They don't want to go to no football parade it's hard to get reservations on valentine's day anyway man That's true. use that as an excuse <laughs> tell the guys to use that as an excuse. yeah <laughs> couldn't get in all right so as we're on the females there was some big wmba news 
So two superstars, uh, mainly some of the best players in the game, change teams. Free agency is about, and two stars change teams. So Candace went to the Las Vegas uh, Aces, and Stewie, my girl Stewie, went to the New York Liberty. So yeah. which team do you think is better? Well, the Aces, you know, they was they already won a chip. Right. The Aces are the reigning champs. They won a chip already. Right. I mean, you add, you know, what she what she went there because her nickname Ace. I don't know. Man. <laughs> no, she said she went there. Candace says she went there so she can be closer to LA because her daughter is playing now. So she wants uh-huh. to be able to be home to see her some of her daughter games. And uh, she said she wanted to have a chance to win another chip. Ah, uh, yeah, because Stewie, you know, he went. She went with the Liberty. I mean, she they got the one John there that won the uh, what did she won the MVP last year or something? Yeah, that's Jacqueline Jones. That's number thirty-five yeah. in that picture, y'all. She won an MVP two years ago. Uh, Asia Wilson, number twenty-two on the Aces side, won the MVP last year. So both of these teams have all these MVPs and. Number one draft picks. They got all these star players over there already, though. Right. I see you in the chat, uh, Kenya. Kenya said she's riding with the Liberty. So Liberty have the two-year-ago MVP, and they have the number one draft pick from a couple years ago, uh, Sabrina. I don't know how to say her last name. <laughs> but you know they're trying to say Stewie is the GOAT. I'm like, That's what I'm about to say. And Stewie is arguably the best player in the game right now and arguably ever. Yeah, they're giving her the GOAT status already. Right. So Stewie is seven seasons in. And but she, she's but she won four, four, uh, four chips in college and she won two already. Right. She got two uh, WNBA championships already with yeah. the Seattle Storms. So, you know, it, this is going to be a bad Royal. I don't know if they play in the same conference or whatever, but mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's hard It's hard to pick against the Aces because they also have Becky Hammond as a coach. As a coach, yeah. And their team, is, their team is stacked, too, from like one through eight. That's what I'm saying. They got all the players over there. Right. I don't know, man. It's crazy. No, so, so can, can two great – Two great players beat like five really good players. But why are you saying two? You don't c- consider Sabrina a great player? That's disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, that's disrespectful. You know, she's a walking triple double. You know, she's basically the Jason Kidd of the, the WNBA. She's great. Well, they actually got a triple threat then. Yeah. She's great. You know, that's Kobe Shorty. She was Kobe Shorty. That's the one you used to go see play in college? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me see what Kenya's talking about, man. She said, is all those all-stars going to mess? She's about the aces. Well, you only put in, uh, what's the name in there? Who you know. Fans? Yeah. Yeah, but. I think, the, I think she is- can mess with anybody. Right, but there's also another girl on this team, Chelsea Plum, who's in the starting five. She's great as well. <laughs> so they're that's what I'm saying. I think five. the aces is, is stacked, though. Right. So that's what Kenya's question is: is is they going to be able to play together and share the ball? So I mm-hmm. think that they'll be able to play together and mesh together because of Becky Hammond. But you got to look at. Candace is like 37 or something now, too, though. So she's probably going to take a back seat to those guys. Right. Right. But it should be great to see. I'm I'm happy for the WNBA. Um, you know, it's a lot going on, man. I'm excited. Yeah. They're going to put some energy in the WNBA. But what the other team's going to do? <laughs> That's what I mean. They're <laughs> going to put some energy back into the WNBA because they're probably going to be dominating. So then yeah. now it's up to the other teams to try and catch up. But you also still have Phoenix. If Brittany Griner comes back, they she come back. They were supposed to be the favorites last year. Yeah, for her and they still, have, they still have Tarazi and they still mm-hmm. have uh, Skyler. So you know, yeah, it's going to be tough, man. 
What are you saying, Kenya? She said Chelsea, Jackie Young. The other shooter is, is Chelsea Plum. Uh, it's Chelsea Plum, Jackie Young. Uh, it's the other girl that's not in the picture. I know who you're talking about though. But yeah. Uh, so what do you think the WNBA can do to get more viewership? Are you watching the games? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess if more NBA players start to go to more games and they see them there, right. maybe that can hype them up a little bit more. Right. Let me know in the chat what do y'all think uh, people can do. Are y'all watching any WNBA games? Because you have, like, players like Kyrie and, you know, Kevin Durant and them. They be trying to give them props. So they, they, need, they need more players. Not none of your guys, but, you know. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll continue. <laughs> Not none of your guys supporting, but we'll continue. Because your guys always hurt, man. I can't. The hate never Sitting on the bench. <laughs> the hate never stops, man. So, as in people that sit on the bench, we're going to get into uh, the next topic is people stealing money, man. Who's on your list of NBA players that are in the league stealing money? And uh, can you explain to the people what we mean by stealing money? Well, T would say Tobias is stealing money. <laughs> Tobias is definitely has, stealing money. He, he has no clue, man. Tobias is a player. Tobias is averaging like 18, 19 a game. Sometimes he's getting you 20-something, doing a lot of dirty work. Right, but he's not worth max money. <clears throat> well, he might not have been, but they had to pay him, so they paid him. Right. But I got Gordon Hayward. <laughs> the disrespect. Yeah, he, he getting like 30 million. I agree. I agree. He is still. He averaged like 30 point, 13 points a game. Right, he is still in money, but it's it's only because his career went down after he got injured. He's still in money. He can't get the money back now. Man, he was still in he money. was worth it. He was worth it when he got his check. He got the boy in New York. I mean, it ain't really his fault that he's still in money. Evan Fournier. Evan the, Fournier. The coach ain't playing him. Why is this boy getting money? The coach just ain't playing him though. It's not so. It's not his fault. Wait a minute, Jennifer. <laughs> not the beard. The beard. <laughs> the beard stealing money. Nah, the beard ain't stealing money. Yeah. You know who's stealing money? Russ. That motherfucker getting like forty eight million a year. Russ's money is ridiculous, man. Uh, so this, these and are, CP three. These are some suggestions from the people, man. They said um, have better halftime shows. I don't think that's going to help. No, nah. because you need people to start watching them and going right. to the games. And they said they lower the rim so they can dunk more. My, that might help, but that might help. It's going to be whack, though. It's going to I mean, be what if you just put it to nine and a half? Yeah, but what I'm saying is if you lower the rim, more people are, are you put the you lower the rim, you ain't missing no jump shots. Yes, they will. You think so? If you're used to shooting on a regular court, nah, now you, you're I know, to, but they're gonna get used to shooting it on a lower court, though. Right, but you've been just playing. think about it. Just think about when we used to play and we had the court low. I never liked to shoot and jump shots on. But then we went to the uh, regular court; it was harder to shoot on. Right, but you don't want to sh be shooting good on a on a regular court and then now sh shooting on a little court. But that's what I'm saying, though. When you're shooting on a smaller court, you know your shot can just go like this. It's just like. Whereas on a regular court, it got to go up. And then you can hit more like line drives, like your jump shot, you know? You know how you had a flat jump shot? Nah, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You had I'm that not, flat I'm jump not, shot? I'm not going to sign that. Um, no, said James. Wiseman is not making a lot of money, no. Yeah. Come on, man. Ain't he still on his rookie contract or something? Yeah. Hit the ball go with no socks on, man. Who that, no? Yeah, you can always count on <laughs> him. What about Roko? Is Roko making a lot of money? He ain't stealing money either. I mean, no, well, he's a lot of money. Then he's stealing money. No, nah, he's not making that much money. All you right. said your man, your man Miles Turner. Yeah, this all came about because Miles Turner signed an extension, a two-year extension at thirty million a year. So the contract is sixty million, which is ridiculous. <laughs> which is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. Because he's an average big man. He's like an average guy. He's average like 18 on a bad team. 
Right. He's an average big man at most. He definitely. But I'm, I'm going to tell y'all who T going to say is stealing money. Who I'm going to say stealing money? Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is definitely stealing money. <laughs> Been stealing money this year. Last year and this year, Ben's stealing money. He played every other game. I can coast on that. He's stealing money these two years. Yeah, he played every other game. And no. But they say they're getting tired of him up there. Yeah, yeah they're going to ship his ass up out of there. If he don't, if he don't come to play the second half of the season, he won't be there next year. But well, he had a little stretch while he was playing good. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. He had that nice little stretch. Yeah, he had a good four games. <laughs> <laughs> he had a good four games. <laughs> four games, really? He had a good four games, man. So um, I don't know. It's come off the top of my head. I don't know, man. Definitely Toby. Definitely Toby. Who else is the max, man? It'd be it'd be weird, people. Like uh it used to be all those uh Plumley brothers, the Lopez brothers, like <laughs> Yeah, but they ain't getting crazy money. I mean, the Lopez brothers, yeah, but the Plumley brothers not getting crazy money. All right. CJ McCollum, uh, I could name a couple people. Man, CJ ain't still that money, man. Still that money, man. He yeah, was like twenty something a game. All right, we we have to move on, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight they're going to be announcing the All Star reserves. So we'll throw out a couple names, and then we're going to say yay or nay on the All Star reserve picks, man. I have some of these on the list, and I got to look at my phone for some of them. But we're going to start here, man. Yo, AD ain't make it. <laughs> AD ain't making it. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't make it. I don't think he made it. <laughs> they just announced it. They announced it. They announced his name and all. They said he made it. I didn't see it. I'm on a show with you. <laughs> no, I'm saying I thought he didn't make it. No, they replaced him with the in the starters. They I know, but I'm saying the re- reserves. He didn't make it. They're naming him right now, so we don't know if he's going to make it. Man, I, I'm looking at it. All right, let's go through these names right now, man. All right. You didn't make it. Fucking y'all, can, y'all can play bunch, along in the y'all can bunch play of bullshit along. on there. Bunch of bullshit on this list. Y'all can play, y'all can play along in the chat as well. <laughs> and, and y'all say yes or no to the names after we call the names, man. All right, we're gonna start off with Dame Dollar. My guy. Yeah, a yay or nay on Damian Lillard. That's facts. That's facts. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah, I see you in the chat now. So did they say if Anthony Davis made it or not? All right. What's the next name at the uh Brian just texted me and told me this is- AD didn't make it. <laughs> he said he got stumped. All right, the beard. What's your vote? I'm gonna go yeah. He ain't make it, but I'm gonna go yeah. He should have made it. James Harden. I'm going uh um I'm going no. I'm going no. I mean, what's he what's he average like twenty two? Yeah, he's averaging like twenty two and ten or something. Yeah, like twenty two and nine or something like that. Right. On a on a on a good team. I just have other people in front of him. On a good team. I'm not mad if he makes it, but I just have other people in front of him. Who who next on the list, man? Who after James Harden on the on the scroll? Let me see, people. Let me know in the chat, man. James Harden, the bear, yes or no? Oh, Devin Booker, your guy. He ain't played. <laughs> your guy. <laughs> Fucking I, would say, I would say no on Devin Booker, man. Play no. like the first two weeks of the season. No on Devin Booker. Let me know in the chat. Uh, yay, yay or nay on Devin Booker, man. I'm gonna go no. I'm going no as well, man. All right, your guy is up next. Man. He didn't make the starting lineup. It's Which is Joe some Jackson. bullshit. It's some bullshit. First of all, he should be in the starting lineup. <laughs> it's JoJo, Joel Embiid, everybody. Yay or nay? Come on, man. That ain't even a question. <laughs> I ain't even no damn question. All right, we're going to say hell yeah on Joel Embiid. All right. This guy, the cult following of the, the All-Star game is in Utah, so Lori Marketing. What's your thing? First what of all, fuck? <laughs> first of all, it's, the problem is they ain't got no fucking bigs or anything, but... I'm gonna go yeah. I'm gonna go yeah, because I know he made it. 
And he been balling. He don't deserve it. I said yes. No, you saying they don't have no people, so he don't really deserve it. I'm saying there's no bigs or anything. He deserves it, man. All right. Anthony Davis, did he make the team or not? Somebody let me know. No. He, I'm going to say no, he don't deserve to make it. I'm going to say he, no. He didn't make it, but I'm going to go no. I'm going to say hell no. I'm going to say hell no, man. All right. Uh, I have a name for you. It, and it starts off with Tyrese. But it's not Tyrese Maxey. It's not Busy V, everybody. It's not Busy V. It's Halliburton. Tyrese. I'm going to go to Halliburton. All right. Well, he made it too, but I'm going to go no. No? Damn, I mean, he made it though. No love for you, Halliburton. I'm not mad at Halliburton. I'm on a bad team. But he good. He real good, man. I'm going to go yes on Halliburton, man. All right. Jalen Brown. Yes. Yes on Jalen Brown, everybody. Julius, Julius Randle. I'm going to say fuck Julius Randle, too, but I know he made it, too. Nell said, Nell said uh, Halliburton didn't make it. I'm going yes on Jalen Brown, everybody. What, what did you say on Julius Randle? Nell said he didn't make it. That's what Nell just said, man. What you saying on Julius Randle? I say no, but I know he made it. He averaged like 25. I guess go ahead and give it to him. Yeah, I, I guess go ahead and give him to him just because there ain't nobody else to pick. I damn sure I won't see nobody like Toby or nobody. <laughs> remember, guess, that, remember, that, remember that other year Toby was giving, uh, giving him the business? And he right. was like, I'm a fucking all-star. I'm a fucking all-star. <laughs> Look, I guess Julius Randle made it because nut ass Chris Middleton. Yeah. Because nut ass Chris Middleton. What about uh my man Jimmy Buckets? I was voting, voting yeah for Jimmy. But I would, I would say I would normally say yes for Jimmy Buckets, but I'm gonna say no because he hasn't been playing a lot. He ain't make it though. <clears throat> I want to know where Nell's getting his information from. <laughs> Nell, where you getting your information from, man? <laughs> All right. Um, if we if if they're doing the West, Nell, if it's if it's Ja Morant, Shay, and Dame, one of them can't make it. I think they all made it. They all, all three of them made it. Yeah. That's crazy. And Paul George made it. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. All right. All little motherfuckers, except for one big motherfucker. What about DeMar? DeRozan? Yeah. I was saying he was on my list to make it. It says he made it. Okay. These All these dudes putting up numbers, if you look at it, though. I think it's just because it's a high-scoring league right now, though. Right. Because DeMar averaged like 26 or something like that, too. That's ridiculous. But man, it's Randall averaged like 25. All right, so what about um you know who who averaged good numbers? Kuzma. Yeah, Kuz do average. He averaged like 21 and uh Porzingis averaged like 22. But their team is trash. Fucking scrubs. What about your man uh black ass? Which one? <laughs> Siakam. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Fuck Siakam, man. <laughs> Siakam. Fuck Siakam. Siakam. It's a no all Siakam? No. No, it's always a, it's, it's always a no for Siakam for me. It's always a no for Siakam for me. Fuck you, Siakam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about Bam out of by you? No, said Bam made it. I got Bam. I had Bam on my list, but he made it. Bam made it. Yeah. Who else is gonna make it? Everybody's little. <laughs> Your That's man so didn't make it though. Who? This boy. Trey. Yeah. I don't think Trey deserved to make it. I- I mean, he, he averaged like twenty seven, right? But their team is not, their team record is not what it should be. Man, all these dudes are scrubs. <laughs> their team record is not what it what it should be. You know, um, that's crazy. It's a bonus. We didn't say it's a bonus. We the just, bonus made it. I was mean? going I was going with him because it ain't really no big men too, but he made it. I I. But his team playing good. Yeah, I think he deserves it. Shout out to the bonus. Yeah, his team playing good. Oh, this is a bonus. How this boy make it? Who? Jaron Jackson. Jaron Jackson made it? Yeah. 
Just because they record. He probably just because they record. He made it just because they record. You see New Orleans, man? They always like 500 right now, man. That's crazy. All right, the last name I got on the list is De'Aaron Fox. You think he should deserve it? He should have made it, but it's tough, though. It's tough, man. Sure. Especially out in the West because it's too many guards. Yeah, it's too many guards in the West for you. He averaged like 25 or something. All right. Too many guards for you, De'Aaron Fox. Jaron Jackson is put him in there because, you know, AD was hurt. Right. I'm not mad at that. Scrub no. at uh, eating and shit. No, who are you saying in the chat over who should have made it over Drew, man? Drew Holiday made it? Drew, Drew Holiday made it. What? That's crazy. No, being disrespectful to Drew. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, Drew made it. It's finicky, man. Kyrie didn't make it. Kyrie did make it. He's a starter. Oh, yeah, he did make it. I forgot. I'm being disrespectful, though. Another bullshit. Some other I'm bullshit. Being disrespe- I'm being disrespectful, though. That's who shouldn't have made it, Donovan. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell. They should have put Tatum at the two. Oh, had 71 <clears throat> points. You don't want him to make it. should have put Tatum at the two and put him 71 points. You don't want him to put him in there. Man, he just shoot a lot. He has 71 points. You don't want to make all the Cavs is frauds, man. Come on. <laughs> and they got a good record. <laughs> they ain't got that great of a record, man. They's frauds. All right. There's a lot of games on tonight. So we're going to go through tonight. <clears throat> there's a lot of games on tonight because I guess we still haven't hit the all-star break. So it's not TNT on Thursdays yet. So it's tripping. Still tripping, games. man. They tripping. Yeah. Still a lot all that money they make, they should be doing two games a week. Man. Still not a lot of games on Thursdays, man. So we gonna man, what go the Lakers doing, man? Everybody. Lakers suck. And what what is your take on they just got the Hachimara boy, Hoochie Hoochie Mara boy? It's a good pickup for him. Hoochie Mama boy, you think that's good. gonna help them make the playoffs? Good they pickup gonna, for him. They gonna make the playoffs now, no? Oh yeah, they about to go on the run. Nah, the I Lakers, see. man. The Lakers, I, they're I, horrible I, to watch, man. They're, they're horrible, horrible to watch. I still think they're not going to make the playoffs. They, yo, they, I think they're going to go on a run. They're going to end up being like the sixth seed, fifth seed or something. This is what I'm trying to tell you. They're going to go on a run, and then somebody's going to get hurt, and then they're not going to make the playoffs. The Lakers actually been playing pretty good ball. But they, they still just, are losing. They just ain't closing the games out. Because they don't have no closer. Who they got? They should have, they should have beat Boston twice. Who's the closer like, over there? A couple games, man. Who is the closer? <laughs> Boy, it's disrespectful. No, no clothes over there. Nelson, Nelson, <clears throat> Nelson uh, Harden should have made it over Drew Holiday. Nelson Halliburton didn't make it. Halliburton make it? Yeah. No, no, you got to get your information right. No. <laughs> Let's go through tonight's picks, man. The first game, made it over him. Look, the first game is the Lakers. In the Pacers, put y'all picks in the chat. Everybody. <clears throat> the Lakers and I, I got the Lakers. I got the Lakers, but I don't know the game already started. But I don't know why they got all these DMPs on here. The Lakers on everybody, John. Man, they just, some niggas old. They ain't got all. They ain't got all the information down. Man. No, they, LeBron sitting out because he old. No, you're not. He playing tonight, man. AD sitting out because he. No, they not, and they both playing. Well, who's who sitting out then? No, said AD didn't make it. Look, AD who didn't make it. Who you huh? got? Who you got? The Lakers and the Pacers. Who you got? I got the Lakers. Who you think I got? That's, that's disrespectful. I'm never picking the Lakers to win against any. Team. I'm supposed to pick. Uh, and I'm a Lakers the, fan. The Pacers, bum ass. I'm picking the Pacers. <laughs> you a hater, man. That's why you put the hater underneath your name. <laughs> I'm picking the Pacers, man. Uh, um, I got the Pacers, y'all. All right. Put y'all picks in the chat, man. Um, I got the Lakers. Memphis and Cleveland, who you got? I'm going to go with Memphis. You know I can't rock out with the Cavs, man. They frauds. Oh, man. I don't understand why you hating on the Cavs. They did nothing to you. They frauds, man. They did nothing to you, though. They had one run, man. And that was when the ball was there. I'm going with Memphis because Jaws my young bull. So I'm you see them boys been falling back too. Who Memphis? Losing games. Mm-hmm. All that trash they was talking. 
They're still way better than talk them. About they ain't talking about they ain't worried about nobody but Boston. Look who the fuck are they? They ain't worried about nobody but Boston. They, they still way better than them, man. Yeah. They still way better than the team that they was talking trash to. Who was that, the Lakers? Yeah. Man, they wasn't even talking trash to the Lakers, man. What are you talking about? That was after the Boston game. They better than all those teams in the West, man, except for Denver. All right. That's what you said about New Orleans. All right, who next? Miami and the Knicks, man. Rivalry game. Two bum-ass teams, man. I can't even. <laughs> Two teams. It's Look, a pick em. It's a pick em. This is a pick em, but this is <clears throat> teams that should be better than they are. I'm going to go with Miami. I'm I can't even stand Miami, but I'm going to go with Miami. I'm going with the Knicks just because they've been balling a little bit. Another team they had they run with my man. They ain't been the same since they left. They won a chip before he got there. You forgot that? They won one. They won one. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Who next, man? Charlotte versus Chicago, man. Who you got? I'm going to go with Chicago. I miss the good old days, man. Another can fraud we, team. Can we bring back Larry Johnson and Muggsy. You want <laughs> Zoe with them, too? I have to talk about Charlotte. Can we bring back Zoe? Yeah, they were Zoe. And Muggsy, Rex Chapman, and Kendall Gill. Can we bring everybody? They everybody forget Larry Johnson was the bull, man. Thanks. Grandma. Ma. Thanks. Who, who you taking, Charlotte or Chicago? I got Chicago. This is a pick 'em game, too, man. I guess I'm Chicago is another team that should be better. All right. I'm gonna take Chicago, man. All right, this should be a good game. Is Zion back on the court or no? I don't know, man. I'm going Dallas. <laughs> you going Dallas? <clears throat> New Orleans yeah. versus Dallas. I would go New Orleans, but I don't know who's playing, so I'm gonna go Dallas, man. I'm going Dallas too. Yeah, I'm gonna go Dallas, man. Right, this should be the game of the night. Make sure y'all put y'all picks in the chat, man. No, oh. no, I'm talking about that was his favorite player at one time, <laughs> LJ. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> a little crazy. No crazy, man. <laughs> you got dollars, right? Yep. All right, I got dollars as well, man. This, this is why I can't this is why I can't go with Nell, man. Nell once told me he was a Cowboys fan and an Eagles fan. That's my stop listening to anything he had to say. Why why I gotta be like that? Just because they rivals he can't be You a cannot be an Eagles fan and a Cowboys fan. I don't like these rules that y'all place on people. Man. Nah, man. Like y'all be trying, like people be trying to say, if you from Philly, you should be an Eagles fan or you should be a Sixers fan. I don't like these rules that y'all try to place on people. Man. I mean, you ain't gotta be. You That's what I'm like. You like? It's on you, man. You ain't gotta walk down Broad Street with us on Sunday, man. I don't wanna Next walk Sunday. down Broad Street with y'all fools. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to enjoy that ourselves. They're going to be drunk and acting a fool, man. Falling off the bus stop, Jones. <laughs> Concussions and shit. I uh, know. Wow, well, no. <clears throat> All right. The game of the night should be the game of the night. The Warriors and the Nuggets. Who you got? What's up, people? Put y'all picks in the chat. The Warriors, man. They just... They get right. They can't get right. I'm gonna go with the Warriors. They got all their players back now too. Wiggins. Back. I'm gonna go with the Warriors, man. Everybody back. Um, you going with the Warriors? I'm going with Denver. Denver's at home. I'm going with Denver. I see you. Uh, Warriors just lost to somebody the other day. Garbage team. Right. I'm going with um Denver. Uh, Denver's at home. I'm going with Denver. All right. The last game. Could have also been the game of the night, but who knows who's going? Who to knows who's playing? Come on, you can never bet on the Clippers, man. You got to right. wait until game time to place your bet with the Clippers. Right? Who knows who's ever playing on the Clippers, man? So it's the I'm Clippers a, at Milwaukee. I'm gonna go with the Bucks. I'm going with the Bucks as well because who knows who's playing with the Clippers. 
<laughs> even though I want, even though I want the Clippers bum asses to win, I'm gonna go with the Bucks. Hating on the Bucks, man, just because they got. I like, like come on, man. You know they got my man over there. Come on, just cause they got a, who they got over there, Drew. Yeah, you know that's my guy. He started off here. Drew, all right. I ain't gonna hate on Drew. Drew, all right. Now said he going with the Clippers. Before we uh. Before we go, you you got to uh, talk about this 89 points away. What 89 points, man? Oh, my God. Kobe scored 81. Kobe scored 81. Scores, boy. Oh, my God. Kobe scored 81. Disrespectful, the man. The boy is 89 points away from the all-time scoring record, right? Bro, Kobe scored 81 points in one single game. So you want Brown to score 89 in one game to break the record? Is that what you want him to do? Come on. That, that that doesn't impress me. <laughs> you, you, that how, about, how about being top five in assists all the time? That's Does impressive. that number one in scoring? That's impressive. Number five. That's not impressive, but he, you also the stats he might are, move up. Hold on, hold on. The stats are impressive, but you also have to acknowledge that he's played longer than anybody else. He's played more games than anybody else. So your stat should be that good. First of all, it should be impressive that he played that long. Right. It is impressive. That's great. Impressive. How many years did Kareem play? Kareem didn't play 20. Oh, he, he played 20, man. I don't think Kareem You better that. go look him up. He played 20. No, Kareem was hurt a couple seasons. He didn't play 20 seasons. Oh, my God. He didn't play 20 seasons. And are you going to put LeBron on Kareem's level? Is LeBron on Kareem's level? What? <laughs> you can make that face if you want to. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith say, man, the blasphemy. <laughs> this this guy talking about Brown is number two. He right there. He, he could be number one. So what, 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 what would it take for you to make LeBron number one? If he won another chip, he might be number one for me. So if he wins another chip, he's number one over Jordan. Disrespectful. I would hate to say it, but <laughs> you know I got Mike number one. Disrespectful. Brian get another chip. Disrespectful. And he number one in scoring. First of all, he ain't getting another chip though. He, he could be. He, he could be four, three. You know he ain't catching Stockton and them, but. All right. Brian is that boy. Look, it's nothing LeBron could do to make me put him number one. Man. Just because you got him like 26. I don't got him 26. I got him maybe. I got him maybe top 10. <laughs> See what I mean? Maybe, man. Maybe. Oh, my God. Maybe, man. I see this boy on ESP another day. He was like, Larry Bird would kill LeBron. <laughs> Kill him, kill him. What? <laughs> that was come hilarious. On. Come on, you know Larry Legend is my guy, but come on, man, too slow. Come on. Oh, he would cook LeBron. Nah, Brian Prime Brian def Defender. Come oh, on, he guard Larry Bird, man. You know that. Even though he was old, <laughs> he was slow, and he couldn't jump high. You know nobody could guard Larry Bird. Come on, man. That was back in the day, man. These dudes is too fast, Nobody too knows. athletic. Larry Bird was the man. He was the man. All right, I must say, con congrats to um, what, what the fuck is boy name? Bronny, I guess, man. Little Bronny. Congrats to Little Bronny, man. Little Bronny from making yeah. the, uh <laughs> Congrats to Little Bronny <laughs> from making the uh the McDonald's John. Yeah, congrats to Little Bronny. <laughs> People was hating on him, saying he ain't deserve it. No, I didn't say he did there. I said that DeWine Wagner. I said, I no, said, I said people. Oh, yeah, people was. I said that DeWine Wagner's son is better than him. I didn't say that he didn't deserve it. He good. Man, Wags is tough, too, though. Right. Yeah. Um, congrats to uh, LeBron, though, man. That is an amazing feat. He is putting up some amazing stats. But my number one thing. And there's this, there's a person that you used to love, be, and this is the the main reason you used to love him. Is my main thing is your heart. 
Well, you know. Well, Sydney asked me, do I got LeBron over Mike? I said no. And I said the only reason I got Mike over LeBron is Bron be on some bullshit sometimes, and Mike ain't never on no bullshit. You ain't never going to ask Mike, what the fuck you doing? Like, Mike always going out there to kill you. That's the only reason I got him over, bro. I can't put ball in my top 20, man. Now he went to top 20. <laughs> this guy out of here, man. All right, everybody. This is episode 16. Make sure y'all check us out um, on Sunday for us to survive. This was Wildin' in his green hoodie. I hope... I hope that they, yo, y'all better hope that they don't lose because the shit talking that I'm gonna do is gonna be legendary if they lose this fucking game. We ain't losing, so it don't matter. That I'm gonna do is gonna be fucking legendary. <laughs> it's gonna be legendary, man. Uh oh, Mike, somebody's coming for you for just for the be Kobe around. Disrespect. They coming for you for the Kobe disrespect. So how you don't got Kobe over Brown? Yeah. Who has Kobe over Brown? About that's what I'm Kobe's about. not over Brown. I better wake up. Disrespect. Kobe ain't not over Brown, man. Disrespect. My man got five chips. So this bull need eighty nine points. Kobe scored eighty one points in one game. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are we talking about? Brown <laughs> bull, man. It's not even close, man. <laughs> it's not even close, man. All right, last night. All right. Look, last night we did uh, scores for the Super Bowl, so I'll let you give your score on the Super Bowl. I'm going to go 34 to 20. 34 to 20. Y'all with the Patty Mahomes ass like that? The disrespect. I don't think they're going to be able to stop our run. The disrespect. Hey, plus you got to see if Patrick Mahomes get his players. They might not have their players. I mean, he don't need, it's, he don't need though. All it's a long need. way to the Super Bowl, but you got to see if they get their players back too. But all he need is Kelsey. Yeah, okay. That's all he need. All right. I just think we're not going to neutralize him. Like, come on, man. He throw it to anybody. All right. Let's see what happens. He don't care who out there. You is. know, I'm a big Patty Mahomes fan, man. Like, Look at his disrespect. Come on, Ish. <laughs> 37? That's been the going thing, though. I mean, she could be right. I can't. That's what's been going on these whole playoffs. Y'all paid a 6 C and a four-string quarterback. What are we supposed to do? Y'all, y'all did what y'all was supposed to do. <laughs> we was going to beat them with a third-string quarterback. We was going to beat them with a one. I can't. Disrespect, man. I know now the disrespect, man. This is episode 16, everybody. Uh, Michael admitted that he was wrong about Malcolm X. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw, yeah. I saw it the other night. Yeah, it's definitely a different one. <laughs> I, I started wearing my glasses. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. That's what happens when you get older, everybody. You got to start wearing your glasses. That's why I wear my glasses, y'all. I was like, yeah, that ain't even close. That ain't, a, that ain't the same boy. <laughs> I think I was watching in the dark or something. <laughs> Yo, when I first seen it, I was like, that's not the same boy. <laughs> I think I just was listening to his voice. I ain't hear him. I ain't see him. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is episode 16. We out of here. Um, hopefully, I, I should have a special guest lined up for next week. So make sure y'all tune in. I should have a special guest. <laughs> Is it Jalen Hurts? No. Uh, this, is uh, a, this is a basketball show, man. This is only so? for us. He is used to play ball. basketball. Who is who is J- <laughs> you? You're not even a Jalen Hurts fan. I am now, motherfucker. You're pissing me off. I am now. Carson, Lou. We Whitney. already had this discussion. I was wrong. <laughs> That's why you was wrong. Yeah. Why would you admit that you was wrong? Man? And I am a fan now. <laughs> All right, people, we out of here. Episode 16, Game 7, man.